Hello everyone and welcome back to West EW Sports and today I'm going to be reviewing the EFL weekend from February 5th until February 6th. There were many games played, it was a pretty decent sized match day, there were a few games called off particularly in League 2 due to the weather or due to, well yeah, waterlogged pitch or the snow mainly, there wasn't really many of any games called off due to Covid so that's a little bit of a good sign I guess. But yeah, um, still a few games did fall victim, we'll get to them later on. Started though with the Championship, Friday the 5th of February, big game, Swansea City 2, Norwich City 0. Massive win this for Swansea. Norwich have hit a little bit of a roadblock recently, they've not been playing that well, no goals in their last three games. Generally don't really look like a team who were at one point looking like they were going to cruise to promotion. As for Swansea, they've been very good. They've let in 15 goals this season. It's such a good record. They're solid at the back. Their football maybe isn't as exciting as it was when they were promoted a decade ago, but they're looking very good at the moment. And that right now, for me, they're well on course to come back up. They don't concede goals. They seem to have enough to win plenty of games. They're looking very good right now. So fair play to Swansea. Massive win for them. Norwich just weren't at the races. I just want to say as well, what a signing Conor Horahan looks for Swansea. Such a good championship player. He could well fire this team to promotion as well as Ayu. Got a good team Swansea. They'll be a good addition if they do come back up next season. Uh, 6th of February, Barnsley versus Derby County was postponed. And we started the day though with a 12th day kickoff between Coventry City and Watford, which ended 0 0 in a real dull fest, which I don't really have anything to say. Watford's away form's been pretty poor all season. They draw a lot of games 0 0, Watford. They've just got a habit of drawing away games 0 0. Their form's not great. Coventry, it's probably a point they'll take, but they're in a bit of danger of being dragged into a relegation battle right now. But it's probably a better point for them when you look at the two teams on paper. Bristol City nil, Cardiff City 2. Mick McCarthy's first win as Cardiff City manager. Mick McCarthy, this is what he does. He comes into the Championship and he wins games. I mean, it may not always be the prettiest, but hey, he's back in England. Well, I say he's back in England. Technically, Cardiff are Welsh, but you know what I mean. He's back in the English football now and he's done so again. A 2-0 victory against Bristol City. A team who was slightly struggling again. Bristol City just seemed to be lurking outside the playoffs Will they make a late push? I'm not too sure. Results like this will not help, but a good result for Cardiff. And Mick McCarthy will be delighted to get his first win after two draws. Middlesbrough 1, Brentford 4. I mean, this for me is a statement victory from Brentford. I mean, going away to a place like Middlesbrough, we all know how good a championship manager Neil Warnock is. And coming away with an easy 4-1 win, for me, that is a statement. Ivan Tony scored a couple of goals in this game. Brentford... They're coming up at the moment. I really do think they are looking well on course. They're scoring goals for fun. They're just playing brilliant stuff. 4-1 win. It was, a, it was a cruise for them, to be honest. And wow, I mean, Brentford, they'll be a great addition. I really wanted them to come up last season. They hammered them. As for Middlesbrough, their home form's been poor recently. It's their fourth home defeat in a row. I mean, really, for their home form, very much they lost one before this. And now they've lost four on, on the bounce. It makes no sense, but... Fair play to Brentford, what a result for them. An off day, it's fair to say, for Middlesbrough. Millwall 4, Sheffield Wednesday 1. Bit of a surprise one, this. Not in the sense of the result, bearing in mind you look where Sheffield Wednesday are, but a surprise as in Millwall don't really win many games. They only won six all season before this, which isn't many. They've just drew over half their games. So to win 4-1 was a surprise, and I mean, fair play to Millwall. They really did play well in this game. Probably the best they've played all season. So yeah, fair play, but as for Sheffield Wednesday, more performances like this and they'll soon find themselves in League One. They need to do better than this, but what a performance though from uh, Millwall. Fair play to them, a really good win, much like I expected from them at the start of the season. Wickham Wanderers nil, Nottingham Forest 3. Yeah, I think this game's an indicator that it's not going to be Wickham's season to stay up. I mean, it was always going to be difficult for Wickham. They've done very well to get to the Championship. It was always going to be tough, but Nottingham Forest haven't had a great season at all. They've had a poor season. They're in the relegation battle. They are completely outclassed on me. Anthony Knockout got a goal. Glenn Murray got a couple for himself. It's pretty much a Brighton reunion. Chris Hewton in the dugout. Murray and Knockout. A Brighton and Albion reunion. Nottingham Forest had enough. 3 0 win. I'm expecting them to start climbing the table. They're just too good to go down to League One Forest, in my opinion, anyway. Um. AFC Bournemouth 3, Birmingham City 2. Yeah, um, not really the result with Birmingham, of course. I mean, on paper, this game looks like Bournemouth should be winning, and they should be, don't get me wrong. But I just think, obviously, Birmingham that Birmingham are a team who need the points, and Bournemouth are on a rotten run of form as well of a few straight defeats. Disappointing they lost, but in the end, Jack Wilshire was very good in this game. He showed his quality. 
Birmingham are in the relegation zone now. They're in big, big trouble at the moment. So they're going to have to sort it out somehow. Um, but Bournemouth, though, it's a good win for them. Keep puts some five points clear in the playoffs at the time. So fair play to them, a massive win. Um, QPR won, Blackburn Rovers nil. Far from a spectacular game, but Q QPR will not care about that. Four wins in their last five games. What an addition Charlie Austin's been to this team. He's come in and he's boosted the entire team. Yes, Charlie Austin has proved at West Brom this season. He is no longer a Premier League standard striker. He just isn't. But championship, though, he'll score your championship goals at any age, Charlie Austin. He's got the knack in the championship of being a very good a very good striker. Sorry, And Blackburn, disappointing loss for them. Really something they could have done without. Blackburn are just heading for that sort of season, aren't they, at the moment? It's too early to say, but yeah, disappointing 1-0 defeat. Um, Stoke City nil, Reading nil. This was very unlike the Reading we've seen this season. This was a dull fest. Don't get me wrong, Stoke produce a lot of dull fest. I'm not saying they don't, but this was a real poor game. It's between two teams who I expected better from. Reading, Stoke, sorry, haven't been on good form at all recently. Reading have better anyway, but yeah, this was a real dull game. Not Nothing really to say here. Preston North End 1, Rotherham United 2. I mean, the reason Rotherham have been relegated when they've been in the Championship in recent years is usually they're awful, usually awful, home away form. But on this occasion, they're doing well right now on the road. They're picking up a few wins on the bounce away. A 2-1 win away at Preston, fair play to them. It's a really good result for them. I mean, Preston are just that team. They're so inconsistent. You never know what Preston you're going to get. They've just sold a couple of good players as well. But yeah, I mean, fair play to Rotherham, though. It's a really good result for them. So yeah, take nothing away from Rotherham. And right now, they are fighting for, fighting for their lives in the Championship. And fair play to them. Um, Luton Town 1, Huddersfield Town 1. This game just felt like a 1-1 game. I don't know why. Every, I could see this game was going to win 1-1 a mile off. Fair play, though, to both teams. I mean... Yeah, I mean, Saw scored the goal for Huddersfield, got them a point. It's a fair draw. I mean, it wasn't really a lot between them. Both of these teams, though, do need to look over their shoulder a little bit. I mean, they are in a little bit of danger of being dragged into relegation battle. I think they'll be okay, but the result's not really great for any of them. A draw is just fair enough, and it's two teams stuck in mid-table at the moment. So, game of the weekend, I've gone AFC Bournemouth 3, Birmingham City 2. Very rare, I took a rank as teams get involved in great games, but... I think it was probably more Bournemouth. A managerless Bournemouth, I will add as well. But yeah, fair play to Bournemouth. Good result for them. Result of the weekend, I've gone for Swansea City 2, Norwich City 0. It's just what this can do for Swansea. The confidence this will give Swansea is absolutely massive for me. It has to go down as their best result, um, probably of the season. Huge result. Fair play to them. And finally, top scorer Ivan Tony, currently at 22 goals at the time of recording. So fair play to Ivan Tony. And next up in League One, we started on Friday the 5th of February, Gillingham nil, Lincoln City 3. I mean, Lincoln, this is a big win for them. Lincoln, I'm, I'm just expecting them to fall off a little bit, but they just don't seem to be. They get the bad result here and there. They lost to Doncaster 1-0 last week. They're just not getting bad results right now, though, Lincoln. They're really doing well. A 3-0 win here. It was comfortable. I mean, it was a cruise for them. Fair play to... Lincoln, go to a tough place, Gillingham. You never know what Gillingham you're going to get, as I say about Preston in the Championship. For me, Gillingham are that version of League One. Fair play to Lincoln. Really good result, really good performance. They are well on their way right now, and what a job Michael Appleton is doing. 6th of February, MK Dons 2, Sunderland 2. Sunderland are never getting out of League One, are they? I mean, I don't want to break it to their fans, but they just can't seem to put a run together. When they went down to League One, I really thought they were going to win the league quite comfortably. A bit like what Wolves did back in 2014. Hasn't happened, though. I mean, a 2 wall draw here. MK Dons have taken four points off Sunderland. For me, it's not really acceptable. But, hey, fair play to MK Dons. A 2 wall draw, it doesn't really do great for either team. But it's, it's a point apiece. Doncaster Rovers 3, Oxford United 2. I mean, considering Oxford came into this game on red-hot form, won every game in 2021, I think, near enough. Um, and, you know, Doncaster, good team, very good team under Darren Moore. Really good result this for Doncaster. Disappointing for Oxford, but they were going to lose down the line. And this game, it's n not really a shame losing to a team as good as Doncaster. But, yeah, fair play to them. Um, fair play to them. It's a really good result for them. And right now, Darren Moore could well be making Doncaster a championship club next season. Portsmouth 2, Plymouth Argyle 2. I mean, they drew 2 all at Home Park earlier on in the season, and they drew 2 all here. I mean, they come from 2-0 down, Pompey, to earn the draw, so it's not a bad result in that sense. But they'll want more Portsmouth, though, from games like this. Plymouth are having a good season, though, to be fair to them. 
A two-all draw was fair enough for me. I mean, it, it seemed a fair result for both teams. So, yeah, fair play. But Portsmouth, they're still well in that promotion push. As Plymouth are kind of lounging in mid-table. Accrington Stanley nil, Northampton Town nil. And Northampton Town have recently sacked their manager uh, after just after I've recorded this. So, yeah, well, just after I'm speaking about it anyway. And, yeah, nil-nil draw. I mean, it wasn't really a great game. Nothing really to say here. I mean, it's a good point for Northampton, though, considering the position in the table for both teams. So, a nil-nil draw overall. Wigan Athletic 2, AFC Wimbledon 3. Massive result for Wimbledon. It ends their 11-game winless run. 11. I mean, that's crazy to think. But Wigan, they're in big trouble. This is a managerless Wimbledon, bearing in mind as well. So, Wigan are in big trouble. Wigan and Bolton could be a League 2 game. I know I say that a lot, but... Just to think Wigan versus Bolton is very likely to be a League 2 game next season just sounds so weird considering they were both Premier League clubs a decade prior. Crazy. But yeah, great result for Wimbledon. Take nothing away from them. Can't understate the importance of what this could mean at the end of the season. Swindon Town nil, Shrewsbury Town 1. Yeah, I mean, this is not the result Swindon could have done with. I mean, home game against a team there and thereabouts in a relegation battle. Swindon could have done with winning this. But they didn't. They lost 1-0. And it was very disappointing for them. I mean, there's not really a lot to say. It was a good goal from Chapman, to be fair to him. But yeah, not a great game for Swindon to be involved in. Ipswich Town 2, Blackpool 0. Good result for Paul Lambert's men this one. A interesting game with a fair winner. I think Ipswich deserved the win in this game. 2-0 was quite comfortable. So yeah, fair play, but a bit of an off day for Blackpool. And Rochdale 0, Charlton Athletic 2. Yeah, I mean, good result for Charlton this one. Rochdale not in the best form. Of course, Rochdale, the entertainers, if I call them, of League One in the last few weeks. Not really on this occasion. It was a comfortable 2-0 win for Charlton. And a good result for Lee Bowyer's men, who might well be on their way back up to the Championship at this rate. But they're still still struggling just that little bit to maybe get into the playoffs. But still, it'd be great to see them back in the Championship. Burton Albion 1, Hull City 0. Yep, you heard me right. You heard me right, Burton Albion 1, Hull City 0. But this is a stunning result for Burton. I mean, will this give Burton enough to stay in the division? Probably not. I think Burton are pretty much dead and buried. Maybe not like Wickham are in the Championship, but they're going to struggle for me with Burton to stay up. It's going to be a big ask, but Hull City, they do struggle against the teams down at the bottom. That's been their Achilles heel this season, Hull. They're a good team, but they need to start beat winning away games against these sort of teams. Look, I mean, they should have gone into this game, Holland. I thought they were going to steamroll it. A couple, two 3 0 win. Wasn't the case, but fair play to Burton Albion. They've been a revelation of a club in the last few years for what they've achieved. They got the 1 0 win, and wow, what a turn up it was. Peterborough 2, Crew Alexandra 0. Uh, yeah, easy result for Peterborough, really. Crew have been in good form, but didn't really stop them on this occasion. Simple enough, 2-0 win for Peterborough, and they keep on going up the table. Fair play to them. Fleetwood Town 0, Bristol Rovers 0. Bristol Rovers have sacked their manager, again, like Northampton, just as I'm recording this. It was a stalemate, it was a dull game, nothing really to say. Fleetwood are currently struggling due to the manager situation as well. So we move on to game of the week, Wigan Athletic 2, AFC Wimbledon 3. Not only a big game, but a big result for Wimbledon as well. Result of the week... Easy, of course, Burton Albion 1, Hull City 0. Easy, easy. I mean, who would have saw that coming at the start of the day? But no, fair play to Burton Albion. If Hull don't go up at the end of the season, they're going to look back at these sort of results and kick themselves. Top scorer is Luke Jebcott with 16 goals. He's having a great season. Fair play to him. Moving on to League 2, and there were not many games in this league. There's about seven because of the weather, etc. So, yeah, we started on, well, Saturdays. All the games were played on Saturday the 6th of January. Exeter City 3, Bradford City 2. Disappointing result this for Bradford. They're having a very good time of it recently, though. A few draws, but a lot of wins as well. Yeah, a first defeat of the Truman and Sellers um, Truman interim reign. Fair play, though, to Exeter. Good result for them. Difficult game, though. I mean, tough game for both teams, I think, to do. I mean, Exeter, very good scoring team. 3-2, fair enough to Exeter, but Brad Bradford will be able to bounce back. Um, Lake Orient nil, Colchester United nil. This was a really boring draw, to be honest. Nothing to say about this. If this was not a good advert for League Two, I'll tell you that. I mean, I actually like League Two, hence why I do these videos, but this was a really boring game, which felt like it was of poor quality. Uh, Crawley Town 1, Harrogate Town 3. What a result for Harrogate. I mean, fully fair play to Harrogate. They're, they're starting to pick up a little bit of form again. 
I do think they'll stay up. I think that they'll have enough, but how they stay up for me is going to be the question. They had a very good start to the season. At one point, they're in the playoffs at the early stage of the season, but after that, though, they really faded off. But no, a fair play to them on this occasion. It's a really good result for Amarago to win against a team through Crawley away. Tough place to go, 3-1 win. Fair play to them, a very good result indeed. Dominant first half performance from them as well, though, where they were 3-0 up. Tranmere Rovers 1, 3, sorry, Port Vale 1. Sorry for that slip up there. Yes, Tranmere Rovers 3, Port Vale 1, just to confirm. Um, yeah, a good result for Tranmere. They go into the playoffs. Maybe they will win the league. Maybe after all this, they'll win the league and they'll prove me right. Come on, Tranmere. Now I'm just 3 1 win, though. Comfortable enough for them. Port Vale disappointing for them. That's all I can really say. Stevenage 2, Morecambe 2. Big game, this. I mean, at the start of the season, I had these two as my bottom two clubs. And. Then that's not turned out because Morecambe, this is a massive slip up from Morecambe basically. Two all draw, Morecambe could have really done with the points though. Away to Stevenage, you'd really have backed them. Didn't happen, they got a 2 2 draw. It's it's points lost for Morecambe, there's no doubt. They'll look back on this as definite points dropped and a point gained for Stevenage, even though they could really do with wins at the moment. Newport County won, Grimsby Town nil. I mean, considering this was a 10-man Newport County for around about most of the game, it really sums up where Grimsby are at. I hate to say it, I like Grimsby, you know, but it's not going well for them right now. I, I actually feel for them because it just isn't going. I mean, 1-0 defeat and against 10 men most of the game, not even a great inform Newport. It's not good. 1-0 though, fair play to, yeah, fair play to Newport overall. Barrow nil, Cambridge United 2. Yeah, the final game saw Cambridge United beat Barrow 2 nil. Good result for them. And yeah, they go three points clear of the top of the league after this victory. So fair play, good result for them. And tough place to go, Barrow. Barrow still down there in the battle. But no, fair play, good result for them. Game of the week, I've gone... Exeter City 3, Bradford City 2. Really good game, this. Really entertaining. It was a 1 o'clock kickoff, the early kickoff. So, yeah, fair play to them, a good result. Result of the week, I've gone for Crawley 1, Harrogate Town 3. Now, maybe not majorly, majorly significant, but it's a good result for Harrogate, though, to go away. Didn't really expect them to win as comfortably as they did. So, yeah, fair play to Harrogate, a really good result. And the top scorer is Paul Mullen with 19 goals. He's finally netted another one since I last came on. Feels like he's been on 18 goals forever. But, yeah... That is a wrap on my EFL reviews from February the 5th until February the 6th. Thank you very much for listening, everyone. Please like, share and subscribe, and I'll be back soon with more content. Thank you very much. See you soon.